Hello, my darling ladies, Crystal, your dating coach. I'm here to give you seven reasons to stop dating a married man, to stop dating your married boyfriend, because you're not in a relationship, you're just dating, because he has a relationship with his wife, he's married. Okay, not here to judge or criticize, here to give you some helpful advice. I've made other videos on this subject and I've said I've never dated or had a relationship with a married man. Here's seven reasons to stop dating him. Number one, he isn't faithful. He isn't faithful. Why do you think that he's being unfaithful to this wife who maybe he got married in a church in front of friends and family and he's being faithful to you? Do you actually think if he goes out to a bar or a club or with friends and there's another woman, he's not going to ask her out. I don't think so. Unfaithful to the wife, unfaithful to you. He doesn't know how to be faithful. If he did, he wouldn't be cheating on his wife. He would divorce his wife, be a single man, and go out and date whoever he wants. Unfaithful to the wife and to you. Number two. Your life is on hold. It's on hold. You can never make any plans. You want to go to movies tonight? You can't just call him up and say, listen, honey, let's go to movies. He's got a wife. He's got a relationship with her. He can only see you when he can get away from the wife. Hours, minutes, days. When he knows he can get away from the wife, he can see you. You can never make plans. You can never call him up. And tell him, let's do this, let's do that, let's go away. No, your life is on hold. Your life is on hold waiting for him to contact you. All your dates, all your plans, everything you do together, he decides. He organizes. Number three, your life is a big secret. A big secret you can't tell anyone. Can't tell friends, family, no one. Sneaking around, going here and there. Your friends are like, oh, let's go out tonight. You're like, no, no, I'm busy. Oh, busy with who? Who are you going out with? Can't tell them. Going out with your married boyfriend. And of course, you're you know, kind of ashamed. You're kind of embarrassed. Okay, you got some good friends that you do you know, tell that you are dating a married boyfriend. But it's still a secret. Do you really want to live this secret life? Don't you want to tell your friends and family, I'm, I'm dating someone, I got a boyfriend, I met this great guy? Because you can. You can have a relationship out in the open where you can tell your friends and family, this is my new boyfriend, this is my new man, the new partner in my life. Instead of having this secret, secret relationship. How many married men, my darlings, actually leave their wives? How many? How many do you know about? I know about one or two. Yeah, I'm not saying they never do. It happens. Married men do leave their wives, but it's rare, very rare, because they were unhappily married, not happy home, didn't love their wife anymore, they'd be divorced. They pack their bags, move out, because they can't stand that woman anymore. They don't like her. There's no feeling. They don't want to make love to her. They move out. They leave their wives. But he's still married. He's still married because he likes being married. He likes having his wonderful wife and you, mistress, the woman he sees when he wants he may not love his wife anymore, but he enjoys being married or he would get a divorce. So how many men actually leave their wives? So you're waiting and waiting. He's telling you, I love you. I don't love her anymore. I'm going to leave my wife for you. But is that really true? Doubt it. It's rare. Number five, they're liars professional liars. They're lying to their wife every time they're with you. But do you want to be with someone who is a professional liar, 
who is able to lie so well that his wife thinks everything is hunky-dory, everything's good at home, so he can be with you. Do you want a relationship with a man this, 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 like this? A professional liar? How can you ever trust him? You know he is very good at lying. Because if he wasn't, he wouldn't be able to get away from the wife to see you. So he must be a very good liar. Do you want a man who's a very good liar? Is that the kind of man you want? Is that the relationship you want with a man who knows how to lie so well? I don't think so. Number six. They leave the wife. Okay, maybe they do leave the wife. And they have a relationship with you. You got him. He's yours. You got a relationship. Living together. Maybe you even get married. But you know what? They never stop feeling guilty. Seen it happen, honey. Seen men who have left their wives and maybe start another relationship, living with another woman, maybe even marrying the, the mistress, the girl they were having the relationship with. They start feeling guilty. They, no, they actually never stop feeling guilty. They never stop feeling guilty. And when they look at you, they don't blame themselves. They're great. They're wonderful people. You forced them to leave their wife. You gave them an ultimatum. You made them leave their wife. And when they have an argument, oh, you made me leave my wife. So you should be happy. Now, I left my wife for you. I'm free now. I left my wife for you. But they, stop, they, they never stop feeling guilty, my darlings. And you know what lots of them do? And this is a fact. Leave the the girlfriend, or even the woman that they married when they left the wife, and they go back to the wife. You know how many have gone back to the wife, left the wife, had a relationship with the girlfriend, mistress, slash side chick, and gone back to their wives? It's like, what am I doing? I'm having the same relationship I had with my wife. We're living together, we're going out, we're staying home. But my wife, she, she knows me. She knew me. We were together 10 years. Why did I leave her? Guilty. The guilt never leaves them. And the guilt they blame on you. You. You made them leave their wife. So that will surround you. That's a dark flag all over the relationship forever. Okay, my darlings. Number seven, most important. Number seven, listen carefully. He ends it. Yes, my darlings. Send my message, doesn't respond. You call him, he doesn't answer. Finally, after days, he sends you a message. Or maybe he even has the courage to call you. And he says, it's over. It's over. This relationship is over. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you, but I'm not going to leave my wife. I made a big mistake. It's over. Reasons? One is because they actually are afraid of losing their wife. <clears throat> Second one, you became too needy, too desperate, warning them too much, pretending too much from them, and they're tired of running around and, and trying to get away from the wife to be with you. They're going to find someone else who's easier to, to deal with. Someone they can just see, what they, see who, who and when they want. You became too needy. But whatever the reason is, my darlings, what happens when he ends it? He dumps you. He leaves you. How do you feel? Not too hot. Not too great. Because you realize, I did all of this, the secret relationship, waiting for him, not telling my friends, keeping my life on hold, and now he dumped me, now he left me. I did it all for nothing. And that is what is going to happen two out of three times with these married men, my darlings. Stringing you along, telling you they want a relationship, they love you, they want to marry you. 
but actually they just want a good time. When they're bored with the wife, they want another woman to have a good time with. And then they find you. Don't let them use you. End it, my darlings. Stop dating this married man. Because you are a beautiful woman, my high-value women. You can have a man just like him who is single. Yes, you can. I guarantee it. Not easy to find. He was easy to find. Yeah, Mr. Marys are always easy to find. They're out there looking for their next victim. A high-value man, just like the one you're dating who's married, you can find. You can find him. And you deserve to have a man on your own. That's all yours. Not half a man. Not part-time lover. Well, he's got two beautiful women, wife and you. You've got a part-time man, half of a man. You can have a good man, high-value man, a man just like this married man for yourself. So my darling, beautiful ladies, stop dating married men. Stop dating this married man that you are having a relationship with. Let me know in the comments below how you are dealing with this relationship. I hope I'm helping at least two women out there who are going to watch this video and say, yeah, Crystal is right. I'm not wasting my time anymore. I'm not keeping my wife, my life on hold. Secrets, sneaking, lying, cheating. I'm getting my own man because I deserve it. And I can find it. And I'm not going to let him use or manipulate me anymore. Let me know in the comments below. Let's be friends. Come check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I'm Crystal Dating Coach. Mwah. Give me a thumbs up. Share with your friends who are going through the same thing. And I'll talk to you soon. Subscribe. And thank you if you have subscribed. Dump these married men. Mwah.